Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Laurent. We back with another video. You see the thumbnails that this video is about, but before we get into this video, I'm gonna need you guys to hit that subscribe button because on this channel, we do thought provoking videos, great content each week on a live stream called Wednesday Night Live, where we have real thought provoking conversations. And once a month, I do a review on the black owned products. So if you're into that kind of content, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, you ever seen something? You be like, damn, man, I see it, I'm inspired by it. But at the same time, you know nothing is going to come about it, but you still see it. This is what I just seen, man. This is this is what is going on. So Jay Prince came out with an alternative for rappers instead of going to the Grammy. So if you guys may or may not know, the Grammy's been like the worst thing for rappers to go through, right? Like everybody gets snubbed. They treat rappers the worst. They don't really know how to judge rap. Like it's a it's a stupid concept to try to get a Grammy as a rapper. For example, Nas just won his first Grammy for King's Disease, which came out like a year or two ago. And Nas has been in the game for how long now? Exactly. So it looked to, it took this man this long to finally win a Grammy and be not, be noticed by this pe his people. But his peers, knowing that Nas is one of the greatest to ever do it. Let's be real, right? So Jay Prince came out with this. And I think this is something that needs to be done, man. I'm gonna play the clip of Jay Prince speaking about what the Grammys is doing and what's the alternative that he got. All right, let's get Versus to it. the Grammys. I've been watching the Grammys control and dictate our culture to their benefit up close and personal for the past 30 years that I've been in the music business. And all the artists, managers, executives would do is complain but never had the nuts to come together and do anything about it. Even though the latest episode deals with Trevor Noah and the counseling of Kanye, this racist act is so much bigger than them. Let's just start with the mindset of the words counsel and cancel, where the Grammys is concerned, and compare them to rehabilitation and legal slavery where the penitentiary is concerned. If we begin with counsel and rehabilitation in the Grammys or the penitentiary, the truth is that they really don't exist. They're just fancy lies. But on the other hand, if we look at the words counsel and legal slavery punishment, those words are true, real, and exist today. For example, for those of you that never took the time to read the 13th Amendment, it clearly says that slavery was abolished except for use as punishment for a crime you've been convicted of. So therefore, according to the 13th Amendment of the Constitution, everyone in the prison system and those that are out of prison that have been convicted of a crime are considered slaves in the United States and under its jurisdiction in 2022. Not only did they make slavery lawful by an amendment, they then created the laws by which people would be enslaved. They did that shit back then and they are still doing it today. This background is important to know because of the mentality of those that control both the Grammys and the prison systems in the United States. This is a slave master punish a nigga mentality and act to remind us that no matter how much money we have, we are still niggas in their eyes. So they cancel Kanye and discriminated against Drake, The Weeknd, Nicki Minaj, and many others over the years. This will only be broken by us uniting our powers to bring about change moving forward. How do we bring about change? I'm glad y'all asked. I recommend that the artists I've mentioned above and more come together in Las Vegas and perform at the same time as the Grammys on a special network and streaming platform to prove that ratings will change where the Grammys are concerned when the number one selling genre in music, hip hop, come together because there's power in numbers. 
the powers that be will be mad at me about this one. But fuck them. I love the culture. The seed has been planted. All right. As you can see right here, Jay Prince is on it, man. He's on it. Shout out to Jay Prince. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be a dope concept if these people come together and he's like, you know what? Let's have our own concert to combat against the Grammys because hip hop is the number one selling genre of music. Everybody is tuning in for hip hop. But for whatever reason, the Grammys felt like they could do what they want. And they've been doing this for a long time. I mean, back in 1989, Will Smith boycotted the Grammys because he won a Grammy, but they didn't want to air it on TV. It's like, you're, you're good enough to be mentioned, but you're not good enough to be shown. You know what I'm saying? So now they boycott and Kanye. They do the stuff with Nicki Minaj. They do the stuff with Drake. Do the stuff with Jay-Z. Do the stuff with all these different artists that we know that we know that's top echelon artists, and they treat them like they ain't nothing. But that's what I said, man. I, I'm glad Jay Prince said this. You know what I'm saying? I would I would hope that this would be the alternative. I would definitely tune in. It, I don't even watch the Grammys, to be honest. I don't even know the Grammys were coming up until this happened. And shout out to Kanye, man. They're trying to snub Kanye, trying to say that he not he can't be a part of the Grammys. And no, honestly, do Kanye really need the Grammys or do the Grammys need Kanye? That's the thing. The Grammys need the hip-hop artists more than the hip-hop artists need the Grammys. Let's be real. But... Those are my two cents, man. Those are my thoughts about it. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I appreciate you guys' time. All right, man. Till next time. Peace.